nimble approach to a joyful practice with day nine of 30 days of transitions. Today we are going to talk about going from forward fold to chair pose. So just a reminder, this is not a full practice. So be sure that you're warmed up before you try um, any of the transitions in this video. Before we get started with uh, the transition, I do want to talk more about chair pose specifically and where to place your feet. So in a lot of classical illustrations, you might um, see your feet pretty close together. So like the balls of your feet are together and your um, heels are wide or hips-ish distance. Um, other times you might see your feet wider, maybe hips distance. So ultimately, again, we're trying to find um, the variation of the pose that works for your body. That does not always mean that it is the easy version of the pose, but we wanna get the most benefit out of the pose. So if you're just starting this, I would probably start with trying, um, placing your feet hips distance to start. Now hips distance does not mean the outside of the soft tissue of your hips, okay? We've got body fat, we've got muscle out here. That means um, like where your femurs are. So you might kind of palpate around and see if you can find the top of your thigh bone. And that's about where you wanna place your hips. And then you want your knees and feet to roughly be pointed in the same direction, okay? So if you're someone who naturally tends to be turned out, maybe try to bring your toes in just a little bit. And if you're someone who tends to be a little bit turned in, see if you can bring your heels in a little bit and just play around with that. See the, find, figure out the stance that works for you. All right, let's get started. We're gonna come into our forward fold, any variation that feels good for you. I'm gonna use my blocks today. And the first thing I want you to feel is your feet grounded on the floor. So your weight's fairly um, evenly distributed on your feet, meaning you're not all the way back on your heels. You're not all the way forward on the balls of your feet, but pretty evenly um, pointed. Now we're moving into a very strong strengthening pose. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, brace our core. So we'll take a big expansive inhale. Exhale, rock your belly in the head. Keep that hug and keep breathing. Now we're gonna bend our knees deeply and we're gonna send our hips back. So here we might feel our weight transfer towards our heels, that's okay. See if you can still keep the balls of your feet grounded. I'm strong through the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my hands to my thighs so I have the space to roll my shoulders up, back and down, and I can lengthen my spine a little bit. And then from here, I'm gonna keep reaching my tailbone back and bending my knees and use my core and my back muscles to lift my torso, okay? And then your hands come anywhere that feels comfortable. My shoulders are tight today, so I'm going to bring them um, to heart center. Okay, now my weight's pretty far back on my feet. I'm going to try to ground into the balls of my feet. And then that's how you make your way into chair pose from standing. Okay, so we want to engage around the core, ground our feet, and then we're just kind of hinging up. Let's Go ahead and try that again. So go ahead and come into your forward fold. We want to set ourselves up nice and strong first. So we're grounding through the feet. We're going to brace through the middle. Then I'm going to bend my knees, reach my tailbone back, 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 back. And then I'm going to lift my torso. Now, if you feel like doing a back bend variation here, still going to keep engaged along the front. 
but we can roll our shoulders up and back even more to get a little bit of an upper back bend. You might feel your weight going even further back. Keep the balls of your feet rooted into the ground. Okay. So a couple things to keep in mind when you're doing this. We want to keep this nice hinge in the hips, okay? We don't want to end up in a chair pose where our butt's tucked like this and we're fighting that. We want our um, glutes to be nice and long. So if that means that your chair pose is shallow, fine. The depth is not super important depending on what your focus is. I'd rather you have a shallow um, chair pose than a deep chair pose and a tucked butt, okay? So we want to keep our spine nice and long and we want to keep the hinge at the hips nice and crisp. And then you come out of it however you'd like. We'll go over some options for that tomorrow. So I hope you like this. I know this was only one transition. Um, play around with it. See how that feels. It's a very strong working pose. Let me know what you think and I will see you tomorrow.